So this is the edge of the property. You can probably see that fence line up here. But so this bluff and then down onto this was pushed in with a dozer. And then it goes down the hill. Um, there's a house down in here somewhere. I don't think I can get a good look at it through that brush. But then basically it owns all the way down over over that hill and then that takes you down into the Kamiai or to the Clearwater River. So then back this way is the road access coming up in here, right? So that same bluff now that we've done a 360. And then so this little flat spot up here, which isn't big enough for a house, nor is the road um, set up to drive up in here. I mean, I think you could get up in here with a, a Jeep or something, but definitely not accessible by a car. So if we keep coming back this way, again, all that down in the bottom, down, down to into here would be part of that parcel. Um, and then if we come up here, which is why they punched the road in, but here's the headwater uh, to the spring. So I'll hike you down out of here. Um, basically there's a black plastic pipe. If I see it as I'm walking out, I'll show it to you on the camera, but there's a black plastic pipe runs all the way down the road to the bottom down here. So start coming down out of here. And uh, again, all that down over the hillside here. And then, like I say, I think there's a straight line comes out that way as the property line um, down to the main highway in the river. And then obviously all that up here to like that bench is all part of it, which is mostly unusable. It's just steep rock bluff. Um, we'll keep coming down out of here. So, like I said, road's way too steep, needs to be carved in, touched up. Um, probably put a switch back in, there's plenty of hillside there to use to get a more appropriate grade. All right. Um, but here's where Brody and I cut up before. Where was that, where was that Brody? Up, I think. No, it's down in there. So if you can see, See that black pipe? See if I can get my finger in there. That black pipe right there, that's for the spring. And it runs all the way down beside the road. So, keep coming down out of here. So, we're down to the next. So they put in a whole nother relief here. Um, really small, more or less just a way to get a car out of the way. But I think you could flatten this road out, shoot it right through here, put a switch back in and get up to that other spot there, maybe. I don't know, that'd be a pack question. So coming down in here, you'll see through the trees here, there's a building down in here. This would come with the property. Um, that building's 100% condemned. Like, wouldn't even expect anybody to step foot inside of it, let alone try to sleep there. Um, and then there's another building down through the trees here, so we'll keep coming down to the main road down here. Um, you can see, so you can see the bottom of this cutoff road. There's the Subaru, right? So, like I say, it's pretty steep getting up in here. Um, we'll keep walking down out of here. So I don't know for fact, you probably want to get back here in the summer when it ain't so cold. 
but that may be part of more of the pipe that feeds the spring not exactly sure you can see it dives off over the hillside over here and everything else it goes down through all there but ultimately ends up in the bottom of the pasture down here so we'll see if we can get down there and show you that So this isn't even really a road. I think it was an access just in order to get that cistern I showed you about three or four minutes ago at the top of the hill. I think this was just in order to get that cistern up there to get that spring contained so it was uh, able to get water down the hill, right? So um, now we're back down here on the main driveway, right? So I think what he's thinking as you can see this fence line here, right? That runs all the way up to that house. That that fence line and everything this way would go with the 10 acres we're thinking about buying. So we'll get back down. So this is the actual, actual um, driveway that you drive up to get up in this piece of property. And so I called this the goat shed in here. This is where he got all the honey and all the um, dehydrated food and everything. Um, he's telling me that he's going to get a piece of equipment and just demo this and burn it all. Um, which I think if I were to buy the property, I'd say, yeah, go for it. I don't need that building. I'd rather build a new one. Um, and then down here is the other house. Which, when I say house, I'm using that term very loosely. Right. So, yeah, here's the other house, right? And it's completely condemned, right? So, I mean, shit, pack rats under it, in it, on it, the whole bit. Um, Know if I can get you so you can see inside the window but you can see the roofs completely caved in right and there's snow on the floor inside of it so not a uh, livable structure by no means a matter of fact at one point I was saying I think you could reuse the footings I'm not even sure there's a footing underneath this I think it was a damn hay barn they got converted but uh, I say here's the inside of it, the lid's falling down, that's the kitchen. Um, here's the bathroom and shit, right? I mean, it's just not livable. So, um, this would be demoed as well, right? Just fold it up and get it going. So back out to the road. So then, that truck and trailer comes with it, huh? How nice. Um, but then, again, more of that. So that's the hillside that we just came down with the spring at the top, right? So then the spring comes down, and it's actually running right now, and it's uh, negative, negative degree temperatures out here, right? So, so this, I think, and I'll have to pull up my GPS, but if you see that fence line, there's a fence post falling over. But before that trailer, I that would be to the whole thing, right? Like all the property lines all the way to there. And then, so this is the spring. This is where I'm getting water to flush the toilet, at least like why we're here, because he didn't want to turn the water on, which I don't blame him. Um, but he did say in the summertime, the spring runs better in the summer and when the spring's running uh, it actually fills this swale here um, with water and whatnot and you can see it's running out of here but um, that's how much water you're getting in the middle of the winter um, garden hose worth I suppose uh, but anyway it fills this little pond which it looks like it's empty now and then runs down this drainage out to highway 12 um, but then we come back out 
like I say, you can kind of see this other house up there. And there's your son over there scrounging through an abandoned pickup because that's what he does. And then we'll jump back up on the road here. And so if we keep coming out the road. So this, I believe, would all come with it up here. And this would come with it down here. Or at least some part of the stuff up above. Um, kind of the way he's making it sound right now, his goal would be to get over here and get all this fencing out. Um, this hog panel's hard on the deer and everything, um, according to him. Uh, he's, there's always a deer hung up in this fence somewhere, right? And so, again, I'm just trying to go up this as quick as I can, but this is the driveway coming in, right? Or actually, you'd be headed back out now. And again, I think all that down here in the bottom, all the way to that fence is his, right? Not this lower fence, but this upper fence up here would be all part of that property. Yeah. So again, the driveway comes all the way up and it's already got a nice gate to it. All right, you can see the gate up here. Right, so basically private access already to the property. Um, there'd be a shared road down to the highway. Oh, huh. yeah, there we go. Deer hung up in the fence and died. So he said he's getting all those panels out of here because that's what they do is hang up the deer and kill them. Uh, so then this is the private gate access, right? So he's talking about turning it in to four lots. And I'll show you kind of what he was talking about. But if we continue on, you can kind of see the, the highway down in here. And I guess you can't. I can see it, but not with the naked eye. Um, anyway, the highway's down in there. And then if we turn on that road access, this going down in there gets you down to the highway. And then this little turnout here, uh, you can kind of see overlooks the Clearwater River, right? She's pretty froze up. But uh, anyway, this way down in here uh, is the turnout to get access up into the property, right? And then, like I say, if we circle back around this way, these are the two accesses, right? So there's the driveway to the upper piece, which is the stuff he's talking about sub and selling and giving part to Eric or selling part to Eric. And then here's the lower piece, the part he's talking about, the part he's talking about selling to us, right? Um, so yeah, that's kind of the lay of it.